Hey, crypto family. So it looks like we have another down day in the market. Uh, there's a couple articles that came out recently that explain why, and I'm gonna tell you the one that I think is the main culprit. But first, let's go ahead and look at the market. So we have Bitcoin down about 5%, uh, a little under $8,500. Ethereum's down 6% at $688, and Ripple's down 7% at about 70 cents. And then everything else, again, it's about down about the same amount. Um, Icon has been doing pretty good lately. It's up 5%, so there's a lot of buying on that. So definitely a good coin to watch. And then some more coins, Augur's up. Um, Nexo is actually up as well. So Nexo's been doing good. It's up 1.97% during this bear market. So again, uh, there's a couple of reasons for this market downturn. And I'm going to go over Bitcoin and exactly what happened. So you can see I drew some support lines. Um, basically between 88 to 8900 and I was telling people you know think about going long but you can see it broke 8800 it retested it couldn't hold it above it and then it continued its downturn now this is a four hour chart and you can see the RSI right now it is way way oversold I mean it's near the bottom level it's at 20 right now and I mean this is the lowest it's been since April whenever Bitcoin was you know got to around sixty five hundred dollars here so I'm not saying Bitcoin's gonna go that low, but just keep that in mind. I mean, the RSI hasn't been this oversold in a while. So there's a lot of selling pressure. And one of the main reasons that I think it happened is the uh, Korean South Korean exchange up bit is actually, it, they say it got raided by police and investigators on the assumption that they were um, misappropriating funds and kind of doing some shady activity. So this is Joseph Young, he's basically a reporter and a journalist and he's very reputable and it says he had a tweet 18 hours ago it said it looks like south korean traders on upbit withdrew large amounts of cryptocurrencies and tokens causing the market to dip overreaction given that the police hasn't disclosed their official reports or findings and you see here i mean everything's down nearly 20 percent on upbit now this article or this uh tweet is actually posted around 3 a.m now if you look at Bitcoin here, you can see exactly at 3 a.m. here, that's when the market started downturning. And so I don't think that's a coincidence. I think this FUD started getting spread. And, you know, regardless if there are findings or not, the fact that the exchange was being investigated is cause enough for everyone to withdraw their funds. Um, it seemed like a lot of people either sold their Bitcoin because, you know, they wanted to save their money, uh, withdrew their Bitcoin, and just kind of hold it until everything is resolved. But either way, um, there is a lot of selling going on and just a lot of FUD being spread. And that's what kind of caused this you know, downturn here and just Bitcoin to tumble. So that was one of the main reasons. Um, you can see this article here. It basically is articles by Cointelegraph. And it says it's being investigated by local police and 10 investigators for alleged fraud. Local news outlet Chosen reports uh, today on May 11th. And then it says... Uh, and you can see Upbit is actually the third largest exchange, so there's quite a lot of volume for that. And it says, Upbit is not the first crypto exchange to attract the Korean authorities' attention this spring. Uh, Cointelegraph reported in March, the Korean Financial Intelligence Unit and the FSC announced a joint investigation into crypto exchange corporate accounts and Korean banks, citing anti-money laundering compliance concerns. So you remember when uh, South Korea was kind of cracking down on all that and basically making sure that all the exchanges were you know, obeying the laws and they're focusing on anything, anyone that was, you know, doing money laundering or any of those activities. So basically it's just kind of them continuing with that, making sure, you know, all the exchanges are crossing their T's, dotting their I's. Uh, this other exchange that talks about it, it actually says authorities searched the exchange office on Thursday and Friday. And it says up, it is currently under investigation by prosecutors and is cooperating. The exchange said in a notice to clients, adding that services such as transaction and withdrawals were unaffected and that client assets were safe. So again, you know, the exchange is cooperating. They really haven't had any results published yet. So everyone's kind of jumping the gun right now. But I think uh, the Korean or the, the police and the investigators are just trying to cover themselves you know, just in case there is some shady activity going on. Uh, again, they're kind of, I guess, better safe than sorry. But still, they could go about this, you know, different ways. But again, even though there's really no findings yet, um, it's just a lot of FUD that was spread. So I think that's kind of, you know, it really started to tumble down here. And another article is posted about the Mt. Gox trustee. 
This didn't help either. Uh, basically, some people noticed there were four wallets that were transferring 2,000 BTC each, um, a total of 8,000 Bitcoins over the past 24 hours. And basically, they think you know the Mt. Gox trustee was selling all this Bitcoin over that 24-hour period. So again, you know, 8,000 Bitcoin is a lot, but I don't think it was the sole reason for this drop here. I think it was a combination. Um, you know, any, anything with FUD, again, with China, South Korea, anything like that is, is enough to cause a chain reaction. So everyone in the United States sees that, they start selling, and it's just a cluster, pretty much. So um, I'm hoping the Mt. Gox trustee really starts selling over the counter. Um, you know, it's hard to say if he did or not. But again, you know, for the future, hopefully he does so that it doesn't affect the market as much. But again, I mean, next week we have consensus 2018 and i keep saying you know i think that's when we're really going to have a nice rally and one of the big things is there's going to be so many speakers and so many people there that i mean i think it's just going to be you know a lot of positive news going into that so that's something i'm looking forward to again right now looking at how the market is and exactly you know what our support levels are looking at right now i think that the big support that we have next is around eight uh, seventy nine hundred to eight thousand dollars. That's when you see it bounced a couple times here, and you know maybe it might hold around this eighty four hundred level. We'll have to see. But if it breaks that eight thousand mark, then we could be looking at lower again, down all the way down to this sixty eight hundred level, which I know no one wants to see. So just keep an eye on that. You know, hold your funds accordingly. Um, it's not financial advice, just my opinion, but you know, just be careful right now. And uh, this could be the lowest we go. We could keep going a little lower, depending on the news that comes out and you know anything else that people react to. So, but with that, um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like the video, please give it a like. And if you have any, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, I try to publish the best content, provide the latest news. So with that, uh, till next time. Thanks for watching.